President Obama addressed the abortion issue in his commencement speech at University of Notre Dame this weekend, and that drew boycotts and protests of his pro-choice stance, and yeah. some of them weren't quiet about it, okay? The protesters, they made a little noise. Check it out. You see how he's so cool, the guy, yeah. you know? And then after the guy, this, this one was yelling, because it was a very small minority that was actually protesting. Right. The, the majority group. of people at right. Notre Dame itself were not, were not protesting at all. They wanted him there. And the president gave an eloquent speech. Beautiful. Because, you know, he pointed out to people watching that President Obama is a very compassionate person, that he's not out for you to get an abortion. Nobody wants you to get an abortion. But he is, the rule of the land is pro-choice right now. Well, and and also he put the guy pointed out and the priest put, he was a priest that you know there are things like capital punishment they're not protesting those particular murders or torturing people so it's a it's not Catholicism is not a one note samba it's a lot of issues and this yes. is just one note my, my actually this the sermon this weekend even at my church was about how people tend to pick and choose the thing that they want to extract yeah. from the Bible and then. Um, protest, whereas though, you know, there are many, like you said, many facets of mm -hmm. um, following that Christian doctrine. I think, you know, the main problem that they had was with his stance on, you know, he was one of the loudest people um, not supporting the Infant Born Alive Protection Act. So that was something that was really riling up that one group and the partial that. birth abortion. I think he, I no, think he, it's he actually voted present. Cut. He voted present. Pre I don't know yeah. how you vote present yeah. on that. You're either, it's a but very I clear cut. That, issue there. I mean, let's really be truthful. We're not going to resolve this issue. Yeah, people have very, said. very strong feelings about it. You know, some people feel, well, if you're against, truly against all murder, then you have to go back and protest all the presidents who have sent people to war. Right. If you're going to protest, you know, you really have to make a decision about where you stand. It's like, for me, it's like gay marriage. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe in gay marriage, do not marry a gay person. <laughs> You know what bugs me about That's the movement, the though? They call it pro-life and then pro-choice. Yeah. They should really call it pro-choice and anti-choice. Because that is what it's really about. That's what it's about. choice for life is still, I mean, if you are. No, no, the choice is against. Interestingly. Against choice. Interestingly enough, that's what the for choice the first is. Time, for the first time in, I don't know if ever, the, there was a recent Gallup poll that has 51% of people being pro life. So this is actually the first time that. You know, the, and it's yeah, interesting with that 51%. I'm pro life also. It's yeah. very much a, an insult to me as a person who values life to say that I'm not pro life. Yeah. Who are these I am people? also pro life. Deciding that I'm not pro life. But I I thought it was interesting with that with that Gallup poll. Well, call yourself because something now, different then. They were saying no, they a should lot. call themselves what it is, which is anti-choice. Mm. Yes. No, but I was saying anti-choice. Anti 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 Jump in there, No, no, I know. Just with that Gallup poll, they were saying that a lot of younger people now are saying that they're pro-life and they don't know if it's if it has anything to do with now. You know, before, you know, 30 years ago, you weren't able to get a picture of the, the baby in utero. Now you're getting pictures of this baby and what it actually looks I like. When, you I, know, I, look, when I went for my ultrasound at 16 weeks, you see, I mean, you are able to see babies listen, so much form. that when you can't it may be a way to afford the child, yeah. when you cannot afford to have the child or you don't have the resources looking at that baby doesn't make it any easier to make their choice i am pro-life because i think people who can raise it should raise it now i don't say listen maybe the octomom shouldn't have had 43 kids okay <laughs> but She's, i do but, say maybe but, we get it but see no no maybe we got her that is her choice and if it's she is choose, if she is choosing right. to have 55 babies you can't suddenly say oh well maybe you shouldn't she's do choosing it to have 55 babies and now i gotta pay for all of those 55 that's babies that's, that's how that's that's how it. Go. No, no, well, well, maybe see, we gotta do but something. here's the situation she's got the money I to take care of way. i feel the same way if you can't afford to have your kid, I don't want you what having one. And I want you to have the ability to say the truth. I really can't do this right now. What about now. the people who do it based on convenience? Let, let's, because we, I, I understand. I hang on, let me finish. There are let me that finish. many people Wait a minute. that do it I on have, convenience. I hear stories all the time they're, of women who are working. They don't want yes, to have a family. Yes, we hear those stories, family. but we hear what stories. What about those people? What about those situations? They are boneheads. <laughs> you know what? Well, they are not. Wait, 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 they don't, let, let me finish. Okay. They are not the majority. The majority of people who are having these abortions are women who go through hell 
to make that decision. I am not saying they that's are, an easy decision, and, but I no, think there are. But there are boneheads everywhere. There are boneheads everywhere. There's, 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 there are boneheads everywhere. There's, there's, there, there are teenage girls out here. Mm -hmm. There are teenage girls out here who, I, I have to speak to that because I was one of them, who it, it wasn't a thing of where I didn't think of, oh, I can't feed this baby. I don't have you enough money. Know, did anybody I, teach you? I was you? a teenager. It was just what like, it, who, who, who helped you? Who Where did you go to get help to talk about what had happened? I went to Planned Parenthood, and they actually were encouraging me to have the abortion. Even when I had second thoughts, How old they, you? I was 17. And, and I, I said I got second thoughts, but they were trying to rush me in there for, to have I, the abortion. I, I ended have up to not say, going, Sherry, but I don't know who, who you went to, but I'll I tell you. Planned Parenthood. That's no, no, I'm saying I don't. On this I don't, I don't, I don't I, I mean, I'm saying I was a teenager. I wasn't thinking about all the other stuff. No, I was thinking I'm pregnant. I want this baby. Okay. That's what I was saying. I don't, I don't and I'm glad you didn't have that baby. I did because who? Baby. Why? Because who, why am I glad she didn't have the baby? Because she wasn't ready. She wasn't prepared. And God knows where she would have ended up if she had had that who baby. Who knows that the baby couldn't but have been our president of the United States, States one day? Or yes. Who knows that the baby couldn't have We don't. You know, she could. Yes, yeah, she I mean, could. Always think of the negative side. Except for a lot of guilt. Right. But I'm saying, who knows the potential of that child? Everyone always says that child would have ended up in a bad situation. What if that child would have ended up in a good situation? Hitler also, you never know. <laughs>